Hi, this is Peter with Tiller, and I want to show you how you can easily add a time dimension to the way you track your expenses in your Tiller sheet. If you want to follow along, you can go to this bit.ly slash hours to earn link. That's going to take you directly to the actual Tiller sheet that I'm using. You can even copy the formulas right out of the sheet. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new column to the left of my account and to the right of my amount column. And in this column, I'm going to quickly paste a formula in cell F1. Now don't worry, I'm going to come back and explain exactly what's going on. But first I want to clean up the formatting, take a few zeros away. I like to have my spreadsheets nice and tidy. What this is showing me here is how many hours it took to earn a given expense. So for example, the new gloves that I bought at the outdoor store were $39 and those took 1.6 hours to earn based on my after-tax take-home rate. That's a lot less than the 10 hours to earn the Toyota service. The way this all works is an array formula in column, actually in cell F1. If you haven't used array formulas before, they're awesome because you simply put the array formula in the top of the column and it fills the data down through the whole column. This array formula is first checking to see, am I in row one? If I am, don't do anything, simply add the label hours to earn so I can remember exactly what this column is doing. Next, presuming I'm not in row one, let's check the category column, column D. If that says credit card payment, like these transactions show, that's a transfer from my checking to my credit card. I don't want to count those either. Those are just transfers. Finally, let's look at column E here and see, is this below or above zero? I don't want to calculate hours to earn on income. I really just want to focus on expenses. Presuming all those criteria are met, let's take the value in column E and divide it by my after-tax take-home rate, which is in this case 25, but if I wanted to update that to an hourly rate of let's say 33, I just update that value here, and boom, all these numbers are updated. In your Taylor sheet, if your amount is not in column E, you'd want to update this information here, this information here, and this information here. Similarly, if your categories aren't in column D, you'd want to update those values there. That's it. It's a simple formula, and it's a really powerful way to help you think about how much did it actually take to earn the money I'm spending on each of those transactions. We'd love to hear what you've done in your Tiller sheet that you think others might want to know about. Send us a note, memo at tillerhq.com. That's it for today. Thanks.